Poppin' YouTube, it's your boy Mr. Mitos, uh, back with another update. So it's been about a week and a half since I dropped my last video, um, since picking up these two um, Typhon Groms uh, that you see in the background. And, um, and in the process, you know, I decided to go as far as um, updating my granite that I had, that I had picked up last year. And with that, I have put a, so before I get to this, let me set this to the side. So I had originally put a Mamba X2 combo um, in my Typhon. Um, and it was the 808, um, 80, yeah, 808, 5300 combo. So it was a small can. The can was probably like this big, you feel me? And um, the amount of upgrades that I wanted to do to this bad boy, was gonna make it too heavy. I had weighed it and it was just at the amount of capacity that they recommend for uh, for that motor. Um, the ESC can take 4S up to, you know, three pounds, three and a half pounds, but the motor itself, I uh, would have been pretty stressed. So with that being said, I went ahead and took that motor out of this and put it in here. So this little, this little guy right here, so let me just go ahead and show you this. So this was the granite. I did a custom body on it, painted it white. I don't know if you guys can see the pearl, but it's a pearl flip in there as well. You know what I mean? Um, went ahead and did the tail lights, headlights. Let me see if I can cut this bad boy on. I think it's plugged up. Let me see. Turn this remote on here really quick. Give me one second. So, so I can turn the receiver on. Or maybe I don't have my, uh, maybe I don't have my battery, I mean the um, body lights plugged up. Yeah, I don't have them plugged up. So let me plug these lights up real quick. Okay, what's going on here? So boom. So I'll show you what I have under the hood here really quick. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the lights on. So you guys can see lights in the back, tail lights, picked up a Willy bar for it. Now with this Willy bar, I bent it a little down, further down, it was um, bent up a little higher. So I just pushed it down a little bit. You feel me? But yeah, all white, everything. You know, added my my touch to the to the flames in the front. Pretty sick. Let me turn this off. This beeping getting on my getting on my nerves. Turn this off. But yeah, guys. So check this out. So yeah, I painted the body. These wheels that I have on here, these are it's an offset. So if I turn it this way, you can see that the rear is wider than the front. These are um, foam tires. I got these tires from A-Main Hobbies. I kept this just for this video. Here's the brand, BSR Racing. Um, these are in particular are um, 38 Shore. So they're not as soft, but they're not really um, rigid or hard, pause. But um, really good for the streets that I run this on outside my front yard. So wider in the back. And here's the other two sets over here. So I'm just trying to test out, you know, the handling on it um, with the different tires in the front versus the rear. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this body off, show you what I did under the hood. So check it out. So this is running on 3S. 
So as you can see, got the little can in there right there. I um, took the factory motor mount and just squeezed it with some pliers to make it fit around this smaller can and then added like a spacer so it wouldn't move. Um, so I did have a question, you guys. Somebody asked me uh, in one of the comments that the motor heat up and whatnot. It did my original run, it heat up. It got hot, probably like 185 degrees. And then um, after the break-in period, now I get it, it's running like around 150, 160. And this is without a fan. And this is with an 18 tooth pinion that's on here. So no fan, um, 18 tooth pinion, and about an 80, 85 degree day outside. I'm running it. Um, but I did just pick this up, this fan right here, this just got dropped off by Amazon. It's a 25 millimeter fan. This should pop right on here. As a matter of fact, let me just take this out this bag real quick. Let me just see. That's my dog in the background. He and his kennel scratching it, so. Hey, relax, dude. I'm recording. But here's the fan. It says it's 38,000 RPM. We'll see. But that should sit something like that. I may have to push this back some so I can get this to sit like that on there. So we can get a little bit of air pushing to that. To that. And then uh, outside of that, I am running AVS. So as you can see, there's a receiver up here at the front. I did have to modify the body support in order to put that receiver right there so you can see I cut a, a little divot in the center so that it can sit down over um, the receiver. It's got a long antenna. I just wound it up and just sat it right there. It ain't going nowhere. Um, running a, what is this? 1500 milliamp 3S battery. And this is your Mamba Micro X2 right there. And that was all of the modifications that I had to do to it. Um, in the front for the diffs, I did put the um, the diff upgrades in the front and the rear. The front cover, I was only able to use, I was actually putting these on my Typhon, but the rear doesn't fit the Typhon. Only the front does. And maybe it's because the the way that it's made on the inside of here, the, the gear sits further back to allow the um, the door to be put on it to close. And it wouldn't let me do that on the Typhon. And neither would the gear actually turn in the Typhon. So I wasn't able to put those, those gears on my Typhon. So I put them in here. So this one has the updated diffs in the front and the rear and it has AVS. And I was able to run this on 50% full throttle um, straight. You know, I got close to about 40, 40 miles an hour on 50%, you know, um, before it started getting a little bit out of control. So I'm definitely trying to dial this in. I will bring a video with you guys with this one running for sure, for sure. Got any questions, any, any, any questions or comments on this bad boy? Um, Hit me up in the uh, in the comment section. As a matter of fact, this may be a long video, but I'm, let me go ahead and turn it on here really quick. Let me turn the name. Select the model here really quick. So this one is the. So I got this mug maxed out on the amount of cars I can have on this remote. I just borrowed one of the one of the receivers from my other cars. Let me turn this on real quick so you guys can see it. I dialed down the steering to 50% as well. I, that also helps with turning, especially when you go to stop at the high rate of speed that this damn thing goes. As soon as you even touch the knob to turn, it'll flip on you because of the short wheelbase. 
So I dialed the steering down, so the steering is only at 50%. You know, the gearing. I also um, put the drag brake on this as well at 20%. That's why you see it stop. It's stopping without me um, pressing the brake because of the drag. Kind of help with slowing it down as well when you're getting ready to turn. And there's the ABS right there. You can hear it. So that's that's um, that's that guy. So let me go ahead and turn him off. Now these other two um, back here, I had to do some things to get these mugs to fix.